What's happening, guys? What's going on, everybody? I should probably turn my shit on here. Yep, turn that on. Turn that on. Okay, we're good. Hey, what's happening, guys? Dave the Film Junkie here. Welcome to Film Junkie Live for your Monday, November 2nd. That's right. We are now we are now in <laughs> we're now headed towards the holiday season. We are already hearing Christmas music in the stores. They already got the de decorations and everything all put up. My God, they just they don't hold out. They don't wait. Ah, uh, what's going on, guys? Hi. Hi, Night of Christ. What's going on, Lee? How you doing? Hey, mi hermano. What's going on? Como estas bien? Y tú? That's a little bit of Spanish that I know. I wish I knew more. Uh, what's going on, Alexandru? It's a cool little name. Ah, from R Romania, Europe. Well, well, hello from uh, California, United States. What's going on, Jumble Beats? So exciting to be here. Yes, you're finally here. What the hell? What took you so long? Jeez. What's going on, Shadow Ghosts? What is up? <laughs> we'll be talking about that. We'll be talking that, about that, Mr. Thomas or Deke. What's going on, Mr. Jason, Mr. Fear Jason? Eric, how's it going? You got to enjoy the Quentin Tarantino opening. Yes. So it's always nice, you know, when something good is about to happen, right? Um, what's going on, Mary? How you doing? Mr. Kenobi, what's up? What killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age! Uh, what's on, Rowdy? Yo, legend, what's up, Brandon? And what's up, Liberty Bro? We got uh, Dirt Wave Letter Studios. Eddie, what's up? How you doing? How you doing? And what's going on again, Lee? Ah, uh, Brian Ringler, what's up, buddy? Max Wolf Knight. Ah, uh, how am I doing? I'm doing pretty good. It's Monday, so naturally, I got my Monday my Monday show wine going on right now. Ah, uh, it's good stuff. Yeah, needed to calm the nerves after a. Uh, all the madness today, right? <laughs> Which we'll get to. Lane, what's up, buddy? Oh, the Gotham images right there. Yeah, we'll be talking about that as well. Uh, a little bit of a crazy day. Yes, Andrew. What's up, Neil? How you doing, buddy? Joey, what's up? Yeah, that shirt, the shirt you inspired is, is uh, it's coming out. It's just sadly, um, you know, sadly not feeling good Friday. And then you know, going to the whole Halloween thing Saturday and then being super hungover Sunday, I didn't get time to uh, finish it. So I love the dancing. Good music, man. I appreciate it. What's going on, Mr. Matt? My, I always I always just call you Matt because I, I always feel like I'm going to mess up your name. Three Jokers is really bad. It's what I hear mixed. I really hear mixed. What's on, JL? What's going on, Brandon from El Paso? What's going on, buddy? Will you be bringing in? <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course. Well, you know, Exclusivo always makes an appearance. What's up, Krypton Cage? Hunter. Saw you, Jose. Ah, hello from Australia, from the land down under. Ah, what's going on? What's going on, Jose? You're here. Cool. See some of the usuals, the huge. Anyways, what's happening, guys? Welcome to Film Junkie Live. Appreciate you guys clicking in as per usual. Got some things to talk about, of course. Uh, yeah, some madness that happened today. We'll definitely get to that. And there she is, Miss Rosemary. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Hopefully you're doing good too. All right. So let's, uh, let's, uh, let's just dive right into some of this stuff right now. Um, let's just dive right into, uh, of course, uh, what did I tweet today? Of course, but, um, of course some, some shameless plugs at first, just in case you guys didn't know, but, uh, got some t-shirts. Teespring down below the film junkie closet. If you want to go check it out, got the exclusive, exclusive oh, shirt right there, and a coffee mug. Hey, if you want a mask too, you want an exclusive oh, on your face, why not? <laughs> I just saw the option of, to make a mask, so I was like, why not? Let's put exclusive oh, on a mask. And then, of course, got the uh, vodka stream shirt hoodie, got the uh, film junkie signal, and then, of course, the slate to have some integrity because integrity. Integrity, guys. That's what we're going to be talking about, too. We got God Ham, and I got the Puddin shirt, and of course, the Metalhead shirt. So go ahead and check those out. If you want to get yourself a t shirt, and like I said, I got one more that'll be coming hopefully soon. And then if you want to become part of the Film Junkie Patreon, you can do that as well. Like I said, the patrons, they already know what the shirt looks like. Just saying. I shared uh, I shared an image with the, uh, the patrons out there to let them know uh, how it's looking so far. So. If you want to uh, go ahead and do that, you know, every little bit counts. And like I said, I'll hopefully be doing another fan live stream 
And uh, the patrons, of course, are first in line to uh, come on and talk to me and stuff like that. So always good stuff. Always fun. It was definitely fun last time. And uh, yeah. So let's uh, let's dive right into it. Exclusivo. Not really exclusive. <laughs> I don't really have any exclusive stuff. I was just going to dive into the uh, what uh, what I was tweeting out today. So go through some of the stuff because I like to tweet out some art and some interesting stuff. Like we'll be talking about this, of course. Um, but I love the fact that somebody put that on there and made it, made it look like that. Um, of course I made a joke that, yeah, incoming, uh, selfies with the, I voted stickers. Watch out guys. It's going to be all over the social media, all over the social media. Um, this is pretty cool right here. One of the topics that I wasn't really going to talk about, but I mean, it's something quick, but turns out the Batman is going to continue on production, even though that there's that the, uh, everybody in Europe, man, all you guys in Europe, I know you guys are going to be shutting down again. Which sucks, but it turns out the Batman's not going to uh, not going to stop, not going to stop filming. So, anyways, uh, hey, what's up, Mr. Shaking? How you doing, my friend? Doing some more of them crazy car tricks. I still don't get how you shook, how you did the the, the pen, the sharpie. Still, that that boggles my mind. You blew my mind right there, sir. And if you have some new videos, I'll check them out uh, later for sure. Uh, turns out that uh, yeah, this asshole right here. <laughs> Governor Newsom with his uh, super slick back hair. He's a good looking chap. I'll give him that. But he doesn't know what the hell he's doing. Yeah, they're not going to be opening any of the theme parks. California, Disneyland, Universal Studios, Magic Mountain. You know, the, you know, the, the, the money grab, you know, basically what's helping run the California economy. Yeah, it's not going to happen. They're just, he's got too many strict, too many restrictions when it comes to opening the parks, you know? So California is fucked. <laughs> I got to get out of this place, guys. I really got to get out of this place because you know what's going to happen? Taxes. New taxes. That's what's going to happen. So anybody in California or if you're thinking about moving to California, don't move to California. I don't know what's going to happen with this state, man, but that's just that's 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 a big part of the economy, man. A huge part of the California economy is the theme parks, okay? And of course Hollywood. <laughs> and Hollywood also shut down. All, Hollywood's also in shambles and the theme parks. California is ah, is effed, man. So, and then speaking of, you know, stuff like this, we also had this little news today. AMC CEO says they have significant conversations with Warner Brothers about early VOD deal to release movies on demand within weeks. So we got AMC talking to um, Warner Brothers, just like, um, weren't, weren't they also talking to Amazon as well? Stuff, I don't know. But uh, here's the big thing right here. We got Mr. Ray Fisher, Ray Fisher being the kind soul, the gentle giant, because I think he's a tall dude, that he is uh, showing his love for Mr. Shiraz Faruqi. Any publication would be beyond lucky to have Shiraz Faruqi on their staff. When I start talking Justice League specifics, he'll be the first and probably the only person I call. One of these other trades better pick him up ASAP. Trust me. So there you go, guys. So uh, during the uh, Sunday morning hangover yesterday, you know, I talked about the whole Shiraz thing. Uh, I talked about talked about um, talked about uh, Stephen Colbert's little piece that he uh, not little piece, but <laughs> that sounded bad. Um, Amanda, you out there? Can you confirm that? Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, um, he wrote a piece about the whole situation, and uh, Shiraz actually came out and thanked everybody for the uh, support. Yeah, I like to wholeheartedly thank everyone for their kind support. You uplifted me and defended my integrity. That's what I'm talking about. It's all about integrity. It's exactly 100% what this man has. While Forbes has ended my contract, I stand behind the interview and my goal to continue to strive for strong reporting as a young journalist. So good job, sir. Give him a little hand. Give Mr. Faruqi a hand. He put his fucking, he put his job on the line for that shit. And it's really shitty what happened. You know, pretty much deadline outing him as like some fucking Snyder fanboy and a lot of other guys, a lot of other fucking assholes out there. Uh, <laughs> see, there you go. Thank you. Thank you, Colbert. Colbert said it's a it was a big piece. Big, big piece. Anyways. um, So, um, yeah, he put his uh, you know, he basically put his uh, his job on the line for that. And, you know, I mean, they, they, they said it was biased. It wasn't biased. All he did was report. All he did was report. um the quotes from Ray, you know, it's funny too, because, um, we'll go back to that. What did I, I did, I, there's somebody that made, uh, that yeah, this guy right here. I don't know. 
this guy right here was like, you know, of course, made the uh, the stab. It said, whoops, turn out you can't print an article with no sources. OK, this is th this is how dumb some of these assholes are, because it's like, yeah, his source was Ray Fisher. Ray Fisher was his source. I don't know. These guys can't really grasp that. He was just taking quotes from Ray Fisher, who's telling him stuff. Yes. There's uh, certain things that, yeah, they they had to like go. They had to retract just because, you know. You have to have the proof, but Fisher was trying to, you know, kind of back Warner Media or Warner Brothers into a corner so they can give them a good, a great investigation, a good, thorough, fair investigation. So that's what uh, that's what's so crappy about that whole situation. Oops, let us scroll through again. But anyway, so it was great to see that. I'm glad that Fisher came to. Uh, he even talked about. Uh, I, he went live on a, on uh, Instagram earlier today too. Luckily, uh, I got to catch it actually live. And he talked about, of course, voting, which uh, that's all happening right now. Uh, like I said, incoming, you're going to see a lot of people, you know, posting, oh my God, I voted. Look at my sticker. <laughs> Nobody cares. Just vote and get over it. Who cares? Yes. I think, I honestly think people just vote to get that fucking sticker. Uh, anyways, but uh, he talked about this right here too. He talked about Shiraz. So, uh, I mean, man, I tell you what, it's a, it's a crazy situation. And it was kind of crappy too because Forbes, Somebody from Forbes actually posted. They posted. <laughs> they posted that they were looking to uh, hire a writer for you know a writer of color, you know, to write pieces about you know the entertainment industry for you know people of color and stuff like that. It was. It was kind of like really, really, really going to do that right now. You're going to do that after you just gave Shiraz the shaft. You're really going to do that right now. I mean, this deserves a big. This deserves the Flash version. Of the head slam. Jesus. Totally deserves that. It even deserves the regular one. It's good sound. It's good sound. But yes, Forbes. What do you think? Pretty crazy stuff. Yeah, a lot of people were not too happy when they posted that. Oof, man. Even I was like... Um, I think I saw it a little last night, but I didn't comment on it. But this morning I was kind of, I always, anytime <laughs> I, my go-to, anytime somebody posts something stupid that it's like, ugh, I always post the Jonah Hill gift, like, eh, don't, don't, no, it's not, don't do that. Don't do that. And it was pretty crappy. It was very crappy. Yeah. So I don't know. It was just, what the hell? It just was really stupid. But, uh, you know, I'm, but you know what? When it comes to Shiraz, you know, like I said, it wasn't like that was like his only job or anything like that. The guy's a talented dude. I mean, he worked his way. What I, what I respect about that man is he's been there since the beginning. When it comes to the Snyder fandom, he was there from the beginning, okay? I mean, he helped kind of, I mean, he helped, he worked with Fiona. He worked with certain other people. You know, when it came to the whole campaign and getting all the signatures and everything like that. But he never got into the drama. See, he was smart. This is how smart Shiraz is. He he decided not to get within the drama. He stayed within the shadows and he was doing shit behind the scenes. He was working his way up to getting that, to get to THR, to get to Forbes. He was working his way up. So then he could bring his voice and have a huge audience. That's one of the things that, that that man did. He didn't like fucking, he wasn't like us, like beating the shit out of our keyboards because somebody with three followers said something bad about Snyder. He wasn't doing all that, you know? He wasn't part of the back and forth, like, you know, that I've been a part of and everything. And, you know, some of the other guys have been a part of. No, he stayed behind the scenes. He stayed out of all of it. And he worked his way to the top. Uh-oh, Tom Brady's pissed. He's slamming his helmet down. <laughs> Ah, sorry, I got the game on right now too. So distracting. But um, yeah, so he'll be all right. What happened? Jose, what's going on? I work at a hotel and I sell Coke. You sell, oh, you sell, sell me Coke. What the fuck? <laughs> Somebody, what's going on with you, Jose? You okay there, buddy? Fuck, okay. Okay, I'm about to say, what is going on here? Anyways, um, so anyways, with Shiraz, he, that's why I respect the shit out of that man because he really, uh, he really just uh, worked his ass off behind the scenes. He stayed out of the social media drama, and he just made shit happen. I mean, he got, you know, when it comes to the Faruqi brothers and their podcast, 
I mean, he had some great guests on there. I mean, he had like Clay Enos. There's, I mean, it, and then he made the, the Zack Snyder little documentary that I was a part of. Colbert was a part of. A lot of us were a part of, which was a, a whole lot of fun to do. Um, you know, he created Comic Book Debate, and you know, and he has a lot of like different voices from all over contributing to that. So the man is awesome. The man's a saint. So he'll be all right though. But like I said, look what Ray Fisher said. Any kind of any kind of uh any kind of uh exclusive from Ray Fisher when it comes to uh the behind the scenes stuff with the whole Justice League reshoots, it's going to Shiraz. So somebody better pick his ass up. Okay? Colbert, get him on screen rent. Anyways, we'll see. But I know it should, yeah, one of the big trades though, I wouldn't be you know, they should. They should, man. We're all fan, fans of Shiraz here, so that's pretty damn awesome. So uh what what happened? Somebody got the burn. Uh, yeah, vote how you want to vote. Don't let anybody tell you how to vote. I'm so tired of hearing that, okay? I'm so tired of fucking hearing that. And I'm tired. I'm just tired of being told. Uh, what I'm being tired, I, I can't wait till after tomorrow, so then I'm not being told to vote every three seconds, okay? I just want to go back to normal when I'm told to wear my mask every three seconds. I just want to go back to that normal, okay? <sighs> Anyway, so that was pretty awesome stuff. Um, let's see. Was there anything else I wanted to show you guys on the tweets here? There was that little kid. This kid right here. Fucking badass. Look at this kid. Whoever made that costume is awesome. And I love the fact that he doesn't have the cowl on. And he's got the freaking makeup around the eyes. It's so fucking badass. Love that. I'm going to get copy right now because of that. Because <laughs> I didn't realize. I was like, oh, wait. That's, that's fucking Hans Zimmer right there. Whoops. But um, there you go. All right, so let's uh, let's get into the uh, let's get into the needy greedy here, guys. Obviously, Snyder Cup madness. Did I say cup? Cut. <laughs> it could be like Snyder Cup. There you go. There's an idea. There's an idea. The Snyder Cup. Maybe there should be some kind of. We should try to come up with some kind of game on a live stream and get Snyder on there. We'll call it the Snyder Cup. You know? Ooh, I think I just came up with something, guys. I don't know. All of a sudden, my brain, my brain just went all crazy. The Snyder Cup. Do it like, you know, a trivia Snyder thing? Hmm. That'd be interesting. Okay, we'll see what happens. By the way, you're going to want to tune in to uh, this Friday's vodka stream. It's going to get interesting, okay? I don't, there's not going to be a guest again. It's going to be all of us again, but we're going to be doing something. There's a little bit of a challenge that's going to be happening this Friday, so... Dave reading just Rosemary and, uh, yeah, I know Rosemary and Jose, man, they got like a little thing going on here. I think I, um, I think I, uh, we got some star crossed lovers here going on. I think I, I think, uh, you know, as long as I'm invited to the wedding, that's, that's for sure. But if you guys end up getting together, cause I know, I think Rosemary lives in like the UK or something and, and, uh, and, uh, Jose lives in my neck of the woods. So I don't know something happens there. Just as long as I'm invited, that's all. And then you thank me during your vows. And as long as uh, it's open bar for at least me, that's all that matters. But anyway, Snyder Cut Trailer Madness. All right, so we talked about it yesterday a little bit on the uh, on the Sunday Morning Hangover. I talked about it because a lot of people were noticing that on various social media for HBO Max, they removed the Snyder Cut trailer from Twitter, from Instagram. Uh, I don't know if there was like probably anything else, Facebook, I think, too. It was all removed from there. And uh, yeah, it's, yeah, we... Uh, and then of course, uh, I didn't, I was like, ah, oh, there's nothing to worry about. I'm sure there's a reason. Oh, Hey, it's still on YouTube, right? It's, you know, I was like, Hey, you know, we're okay guys. It's, uh, it, it's going to be perfectly, uh, it's going to be perfectly fine. You know I mean? Like I, that's what I was kind of saying. I was like, Hey, you could still watch it on YouTube. It's still there. It's still there. Wrong! It's not there anymore. <laughs> there it is. It went private. So a lot of people were freaking out today. I was like looking at my Twitter. I was like, holy shit. A lot of people were um, were uh, kind of freaking out because it's now been removed from all over. And everybody was going, what the hell, what the hell? My initial thought at first was, okay, should be interesting. I mean, of course, I reached out naturally to the sources and started asking around. A lot of people were wondering with... Um, the restructuring and rearranging that was happening with Warner Max and Warner Media and 
all that stuff, you know, with Toby Emmerich and everything like that. Everybody's wondering, like, what the hell? What the hell? Maybe it has something to do with that. And I was like, well, maybe, maybe they're gonna rebrand it. Maybe they're gonna rebrand it and take away the Warner Max logo. I don't know. And then I was kind of wondering, like, okay. So I started like sniffing around. <laughs> yeah, I was like sniffing. I was like, okay. And then I found out that, oh, okay, something. I mean, it's not canceled for sure. I was like, for sure it's not canceled because I was like, okay, all right, cool. Uh, okay, that's definitely okay, definitely not canceled. And then, of course, it um, it kept going and going. And then a lot of people were like speculating. Some people were saying that, oh, they're gonna they're gonna redo the visual, the VFX. I didn't understand that. I saw people thinking that they were gonna that they thought the VFX weren't done. I don't know. I was like that. They seem pretty finished to me in all those clips. Um, and then you know, the biggest thing was everybody thought it was rebranding, but um. It finally came out, and let me uh, find that tweet. I'm sure, I think I just kind of went past it real quick. Here it is from Aaron Crunch, Kraut, Couch. I said Crunch, Couch. Is that how you say his name? But he finally came out, and he said, HBO Max has removed August trailer for Zack Snyder's Justice League over movie rights. God, I can't even read. Music rights, but it will likely go back up on YouTube once the issue is resolved. So there you go, guys. That's what happened. Fucking YouTube and their goddamn copyrights. That's that's why um, this one's probably gonna I'm probably gonna get a copyright because of uh because I had the uh, Hans Zimmer score earlier in that fucking video. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. I, if anything, I could probably clip it out maybe. But um, hey, what's up, Nicotina? How you doing, buddy? Um, so yeah. So basically, what happened was the Hallelujah song. <laughs> it's all about licensing, okay? And then of course I, I it was funny too because I just finally got confirmation of what it was and then all of a sudden he came out like six minutes later i was like damn it aaron i almost had i almost had exclusivo myself okay but um yeah so it's all about the music it's the hallelujah song and you know it's all about licensing and stuff like that licensing needed to be renewed so i'm sure like right now it's in the process of all that and as soon as it goes in we're good it'll be right back up They'll put it all back on there. Everything will be good. So don't worry. No Snyder Cut, of course, canceled or anything like that. Zack Snyder Justice League. I, when some people were freaking out that it was getting canceled, I, that's when I was really going like, what the fuck? Because it's like, dude, they they just they, they don't just hand somebody over $70 million and then just cancel their shit. But the sad thing is, <laughs> but guess who, uh, guess who aided in some of the hysteria? Grace! Yeah, <laughs> she did. She uh, definitely did. <laughs> she uh, definitely did a little bit. So uh, let's pull up her tweets. Oh, man. Okay, so here we go. So here's the first tweet that she uh, tweeted out. So we had, she says, I'm looking into the disappearing Snyder Cut trailers. This is a difficult situation with very high stakes for all. Everyone should tread very carefully and responsibly uh, when discussing this. So she first tweeted out that, which is fine, which is fine. She was looking into it. But the thing is, is like, she's already like doom and gloom. This is where she, I don't like how overly dramatic she gets. <laughs> okay. Like I said, I mean, I'm not like the biggest Grace fan. You guys know this, but she really kind of just like, uh, she got really overly dramatic today. See, she already got, she already prepared for the, the dramatics right here. And then the follow-up tweet was right here. Uh, what was the, did she delete the other two? Okay, here it was. Here was the other tweet. Uh, but, 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 okay, yeah, high stakes, blah, blah, blah. So then she had the update. I hear Warner Brothers is trying to come up with a reason to give, to give the press for removing all the trailers. Not a good sign. <sighs> and then, of course, like, some of us were like... <laughs> shit it's like what, what what are you what are you talking about here what's going on here grace really i mean it was it just was like come on you're really gonna say that not a good sign warner brother i mean is she still that's the thing is like her sources are still warner brothers pictures i think she's reaching out to those people i don't know it was like come on grace what are you doing you're killing us you're killing us here and of course everybody's passing those tweets around and then finally she went okay i just found out from a, a refutable source that uh, it's all good. Re the Snyder Cut. The trailer should be back up soon. 
And I mean, is this is her source like you know someone that's very important? Fucking hard fact. I don't know. I think she's probably got she's got his number. She got an interview with him, right? So I'm wondering if she actually hit up Zack Snyder. I am wondering my how are the Giants beating the fucking Buccaneers right now? Thirteen to three, crazy. Um, I'm wondering if she reached out to Zach. I think she did. I think she reached out to Snyder, to be honest. That's what I think. Uh, Jose got canceled. Uh-oh. Welcome to my world there, buddy. Welcome to Thunderdome, bitch. Uh, try to cancel me. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're uncancelable because we live in California. We're good. But anyway, so that's what the drama was today. It was funny. It was like, wow. It was crazy. A lot of people, you know, freaking out. Like I said, when stuff like that happens, you just got to be patient, you know, just, just, just be a little patient. That's the thing. I mean, she's not wrong about, you know, I've always said this is all, a lot of this stuff's a delicate situation. Now, I don't think anything's going to prevent Zack Snyder's Justice League from coming out. It's not that, you know, something really bad is going to have to happen. I've even thought myself, I'm like, man, is this the, the Ray Fisher stuff? Is that going to affect anything? Could it like do anything? And I'm like, no, there's no way. Because HBO Max is full force. They're 100% into it, you know. The additional photography is done. Um, everything is, uh, you know, should be good to go. I don't know if there's going to be any more additional photography. Um, uh, I would say, like, hey, you know, obviously we've got to be paying attention in about two weeks. <laughs> you know, November 17th, it's going to be, uh, there's going to be some, that's going to be a good day, I think, you know. We've got a campaign that's going to be going on that I saw some people are already tweeting about, which is fine, but, you know, I'm, I think there might be a surprise or two or something like that. Um, you know, man, there might be a new trailer. That'd be pretty sweet. Uh, that's what I was kind of thinking. I'm like, they remove it because they're going to do like, give like a better trailer. And that was just, I, it was like, there were so many questions that, that came, you know, that came to all of us where we were trying to think of like, why would they remove it? But yep, just, just the fucking stupid uh, music licensing. That's all it's going to be. It's going to be a, an all CGI trailer made by George Lucas. Why not? Yeah, you know, long as there's no Jar Jar in there, that's all that you know. That's all I'm worried about. Hey, there's 214 people watching right now. Convenient. Ah, uh, somebody left. Anyways, hit that like thumbs up button too, guys. If you're, uh, you know, if you're so inclined. And uh, yeah, you can cancel Jose too. It's fine. But uh, yeah, November 17th. Uh, I would say that's going to be a good day. A good day. So I think we should all be paying attention and everything. So Zack Snyder hopefully comes out and just. All right, moving on, keeping on with, um, you know, the Snyderverse and uh, HBO Max. Jason Kalar teases Ben Affleck's Batman. That's right. Now, it could be nothing, but, you know, I think it's kind of interesting that uh, the man himself that we all we all love because he's just showing, you know, he's helping make all this possible that he tweeted this out today. So he said the, uh, the at DC Batman fans, well, I, I'm sure he meant just Batman fans, the Batman fans on Twitter, myself included, are likely to enjoy this backdrop. Now, like I said, it could be nothing. He's just showing his appreciation. But it does seem a little weird that, you know, he posts an image from Warner Media, and we got the fat bat signal in the background. That's right. That's the fat bat. That is Ben Affleck's bat right there. So it's interesting. It's interesting that he did that. I mean, obviously, he knows how much we love the uh, we love Ben Affleck's Batman. So and, you know, obviously when it comes to where he works and everything like that, it's like his Batman is Ben Affleck's Batman. And Warner Brothers Pictures, Robert Pattinson is their Batman right now, you know, which, of course, we can have both. You know, you could be both. You can, you, you know, if you if you if you're not looking forward to Robert Pattinson's Batman, fine. But hey, just leave it be. And so, you know, and be excited for Ben Aff for seeing Ben Affleck's Batman. We're going to see him at least two more times, at least. That's the thing is at least I love the fact that it's at least we're going to see Ben Affleck's Batman at least two more times. But, um, you know, a lot of people were speculating, like, is this teasing the fact that, hey, we might is Ben Affleck finally going to be signing on now? I've kind of, you know, do my thing where I kind of just like, you know, I don't just put it all all. I don't like uh, I don't write an article and, uh, you know, or write, make a video and put, you know, that that nice big word in front of it. Exclusivo. You know, that a lot of people fucking do too much today. Jesus Christ. Um, but um, it's a beautiful picture. I would actually love to have this backdrop on like, you know, hey, I should put it behind me. That'd be pretty cool. 
That'd be pretty cool. And put Film Junkie live up uh, in the sky. That'd be kind of cool. Somebody, yeah, if anybody out there, any, if you got any, uh, we got any um, artiste out of there, uh, replace the the fat bat with my head, like like it is behind me now, and then put Film Junkie. <laughs> just kidding. You don't have to do that. I'm just kidding. I just thought that was, I just, you know, my brain works like that. I just go off on little tangents and everything. So, but um, now when it comes to uh, Ben Affleck's Batman, I mean, you guys know my what, what my information stands. I know there's all kinds of information out there where apparently he signed like three different contracts. Maybe it's up to, I don't know, maybe he signed 16 different contracts now. I don't know. I That's where my, that's where I, my, I've always been skeptic about that information that came out. Um, you know, according to my sources, wrong. Um, he hasn't signed on for like his Batman movie yet. Um, the only thing that he came back for, and according to my information, uh, it was like uh, you know around July where he finally like said, "Okay, I'm gonna come back for you, Snyder." And I even said, I remember even saying that before too. Is like I was like 100 that that. Ben Affleck was definitely going to come back for Zack Snyder's Justice League. If Snyder needed him to do additional photography, Ben Affleck was coming back. And, you know, we all knew that that was going to happen. I mean, it was just like a no brain right there. And sure enough, he did. He's in, he's in good shape. He, uh, you know, it's going to be fucking awesome to see him in the bat suit again. I can't wait. I was hoping that Snyder was going to post, give us a little, give us a little tease, you know, come on, Snyder, just give a little tease, fucking tease. Just show, show that Boston motherfucker, you know, with a good chin. Jeez, but he did. It's fine, but maybe we'll, you know, November seventeenth, two weeks away. So maybe he'll give us something there. So, yeah, he has signed on. Trust me, bro. I mean, that's that's pretty much what we. <laughs> that's pretty much that's what the source is. Trust me, bro. Which is fine. Like I said, everybody has their sources. Have at it. I have my own sources, and I'm going to tell you what mine say. Mine said. That he had he signed on for Zack Snyder's Justice League eh, around July. It was probably around July. Maybe it was towards the end. I like to I like to believe that the campaign that we had towards the end of July helped nudge him because before that, um, I had a source say that he was he was reluctant to come back. He was reluctant, which I could totally I could, I one hundred percent can see that because Ben Affleck, you know, he's pushing fifty. He's in a great relationship. He's in a great place. He's in great health. You know, why would he want to go back to playing this character that transcends any actor that plays him? I mean, my God, the character transcends any actor that plays that's underneath that cow. doesn't matter who you are. The character transcends that. And a lot of people, high expectations and everything like that. I think what's good about, about Ben Affleck now is the fact that, you know, like I said, he's in good health. He's in good spirits. Um, HBO Max, HBO Max and Warner Media are really just going, hey, remember when there was a promise of just like, we're going to give the filmmakers free range, you know, have creative freedom. It's all you. We'll back you up. You know, obviously Warner Brothers Pictures, they said that at first and well, they kind of lied about that because, well, they, they kept fucking up, fucking a lot of movies up, specifically the ones that Ben Affleck was in. That's what sucks, you know? They fucked up BBS, but luckily Snyder got his version out that he wanted to get out. They fucked up Suicide Squad. We're still waiting for the Ayer cut, of course. And, uh, you know, I'm, that's 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 inevitable. That's going to be coming out for sure. And then it's like, you know, when everything was happening with Justice League, which was the big fuckery, that was in the middle of Ben Affleck writing his script. And you better believe that Mr. Ballcap guy decided to come in and start going, nope, 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 you know? And started changing shit around. And it's like, no, nah. no, nope. I mean, this is Ben Affleck we're talking about. I mean, the guy's won a he's won a Best Picture Academy Award. How do you fucking like say no to that guy? That's that's what I always wonder about. Uh, so uh, when it comes, but when it when it comes to other stuff, obviously you sign up for the Flash. Uh, as far as my knowledge knows, that it was like a week before fandom happened that he signed up for Flash, Flashpoint, whatever. And now it's all just about waiting for him to like sign on for his Batman. And I think it's going to finally happen. I think it's going to happen. Um, I just don't know. I, I like from what I'm gathering, I don't know if it's actually going to be, you know, lengthened to a full series. That's the one thing that was different from the information I got. I don't know if it's going to be a full, like, you know, Hey, we're going to stretch it to like, 
you know, six episodes, four episodes. Well, I mean, from what I'm telling, it might just be like two parts. I don't know. It might just be two parts. We'll see what happens. Could be wrong. Maybe they will stretch it to like four, like what Snyder's doing with Zack Snyder's Justice League. We'll see what happens. But um, I think it's just the fact that, I think it's just the fact that HBO Max is just given creative freedom. And, and you know, Ben Affleck, Ben Affleck's already, he's already called, he called the fact of like Netflix. He knew that that was going to be a big thing. Okay. And then recently he even talked about how, you know, the streaming service, streaming stuff is just going to be, that's the new age of, of everything. And you got to think too, that, I mean, he's got a lot of projects that are be coming out. I mean, you got to think that a lot of those are going to end up going to streaming services. So he's got to welcome in the new, the new era of the film industry, sadly. I mean, as much as we want to see these, all this stuff on the big screen, crap, I got to go get my freaking charger. I forgot to grab my charger. And uh, yeah, it's in my room right now. Um, but uh, yeah, it's all just a matter of time. Give, give him a little more patience when it, comes to, uh, when it comes to Ben Affleck. I'm hoping by the end of the year that he's like fully signed on and ready to go. Like I was telling you guys yesterday, how perfect would it be for HBO Max to just have some kind of promo thing where you could gift somebody a full year or something for HBO Max at a discounted price. And, you know, you got to fill up that library. They're going to, they're trying to fill up that library. And it's like, okay, you got Zack Snyder's Justice League. Fucking put J David Ayer's Suicide Squad in there and then put Ben Affleck's Batman. And then just, just to draw more, to have more in that library, man. I'm telling you what, people want to see that shit. People want to see that shit. They want to see more. They want to see Deathstroke. Want to see all that stuff. Jared Little's Joker and everything like that. Hold on a sec, guys. I'll be right back. Um, here, watch me. Um, <laughs> as I'm go, I gotta grab my charger for my uh, laptop. Watch me um, do my best uh, John McClane impression. What costume? Womp womp. Yeah, there you go. I got to get rid of that. <laughs> I don't need that. I don't need that in my drops anymore. But uh, <sighs> yeah, talk shit about me. It's fine. Do it. Please do it. I'll screenshot. I'll screenshot all of you. But uh, anyway, so that's, uh, yeah, that's my uh, take on the whole Ben Affleck thing. Trust me, I, I, I want to believe that he's already signed on. It's all ready to go. But that's just not what I'm hearing from my sources. So we'll see what happens. But, uh, you know, maybe uh, maybe Grace will drop something soon. Grace! There you go. Anyways, all right, next thing. Johnny Depp loses wife beater case. <laughs> Speaking of wife beater, you guys just saw me in a wife beater right now. No, but um, and this is when I first saw this, I was like, what? I'm like, he lost the case to Amber Heard? What the hell? That was quick. But no, it turns out it's uh, the publication. So here's just a quick little thing right here that says on Twitter. By the way, man, Johnny Depp. Whew, man, has this guy... Remember how like we used to say, man, Johnny Depp doesn't age. This guy has aged so rapidly in like the last three to five years, man. I feel bad for him because he, he's such a good talent, but he's also insane. <laughs> but it just sucks because he was like, he was like ageless. He was like, he never... And, and, until he met Amber Heard... <laughs> <laughs> and then he started aging like crazy. She literally sucked the life. She did the, she totally did the opposite effect of what Ana de Armas is doing to Ben Affleck, man. Jace. I mean, she fucking sucked the life out of him. But yeah, it said the actor uh, had sued the British newspaper's publisher, news group, newspapers, NGN, and its executive editor, Dan Wooton, over an article in 2018 which described Depp as a wife beater and claimed there was overwhelming evidence he had attacked his ex-wife Amber Heard. The judge, Mr. Justice Nicol, ruled that the paper's allegations were substantially true. Man, this guy's getting fucked. <laughs> that, that's crazy. That's I mean, was there overwhelming evidence? I don't remember there being overwhelming evidence. There was like some recordings and stuff. 
there's recordings and stuff, but I mean, was there like overwhelming evidence that he like beat her? I don't know. It was weird. Very interesting. That whole thing is such a shit show. I'm so, you know, it's, it's going to be weird to see what happens. Uh, I mean, they're both insane. Like I'm, like I've always said, I don't take a side on it. There are people that take sides on it. I'm kind of like, you know, they're both pretty toxic. It sounds like they just had a really toxic relationship, like big time toxic relationship. You know, there, I see so many people that back up Amber Heard. I've actually gotten people to block me because I don't back that up because it's like you, there's been, there's been other times where she's had the cops called on her for domestic, domestic, uh, disputes or whatever the hell that's happened before. I think she was dating some, some woman at one point and the cops got called because they were fucking like going at her or something like that. She's toxic. She's toxic. He's toxic. Okay. I'm telling you, it's crazy. Yeah. There are recordings. Yeah. There's yeah. And there are recordings and stuff like that where you actually can hear him like throw stuff and you hear her like, like where she sounds frightened but then there's recordings of her also doing the same things and everything. And then there's bruises and then the cut finger for him. It's just, it's a bad situation for both. They're, they both suck. So my, my stance has always been and always will be the fact that they, they both suck and they shouldn't have got together. It was just bad from the get-go. Yes. <laughs> okay, Steven. Yeah, we, <laughs> nice one. Not not Colbert, regular Steven right there. It says Amber can suck the live. Yeah. Womp womp and up bumps. But anyways, we'll see what happens with all that stuff. But yeah, it's dumb. Yeah, I know that's that's the bad part. Amber heard so goddamn gorgeous that it's like, yeah, okay. I let her beat me up gladly. All right. Last thing I want to talk about was John Boyega has been contacted by Disney execs. Now, remember when he uh started coming out about Star Wars, Rise of Skywalker, and and uh, Last Jedi, and everything, and all that that shit that happened there. Well, uh, when he uh, he did an article, you know, was talking about a movie, upcoming movie that he's going to do, but a little piece of the uh, interview that was out of it, he talked about. Uh, so he says right here, discussing film, kind of did like a little quick snap of it. John Boyega says he was contacted by Disney exec. Uh, about his experience on Star Wars, there was a lot of explaining on their end in terms of the way they saw things. They gave me a chance also to explain my experience with was like. So there you go. So things are happening. Also with that, I really think if they were smart, just give them a fucking give give Finn a give Finn a fitting ending, like a fitting. Let him become if he was supposed to become a Jedi. Let him become a Jedi in his own series on Disney Plus or something. I don't know. I would actually like to see, because you guys, I've, I've said many times, I was like, I always thought Finn's story arc was a lot, it was better than Ray's. You know, it was different. The fact that he was, you know, a stormtrooper. And that's what I said, like with, if he, if they were to give him an HBO or not an HBO, <laughs> a Disney Plus series, you could have, you could have the beginning when he becomes a stormtrooper. You could see all that, you know, and you could like dive into how stormtroopers become, you know, and I'm sure they've done that in like the books and stuff. I'm sure they've, uh, they've taken a dive into all that, but show that. And then, you know, and then of course it leads to him leaving and then show where he's at present day where, you know, he's shown that he is force sensitive. Show that if he was supposed to be force sensitive and he was supposed to be a Jedi show all that. I'm all about that. <clears throat> so I don't know. We'll see what happens. See what happens. Pop, 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 pop. Cheers, Nicotina. Thank you, sir. Uh, but anyways, so that was just the last thing I wanted to briefly talk about was the fact that more stuff's going to be coming out of that. That's good. We'll uh, probably hear some more things because, you know, I mean, it, it, it does suck that they kind of, they cheesed, Disney cheesed their, uh, their Star Wars trilogy. You know, we all really wanted something special. And when Force Awakens started, it was like, oh, we're getting something good. Look at that. We got some new characters, some old characters, nostalgia, and new stuff. It's all going to be good. <laughs> and then it was just kind of like, you know, Last Jedi was pretty divisive. I, for one, don't hate Last Jedi. I have issues with it, but I do like Last Jedi. And then Rise of Skywalker is, you know, a lot of good things, but it's a fucking mess. <laughs> it is a mess. Mess. You know that word mess that they always like to use for every DCEU? pre-production movie or production movie. It's a mess. A mess. That's right. 
You know who said that a lot too? Grace! That's right. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. That's my new drop. I have to use it. Okay. Cause you know, we, <laughs> we bring her up. We bring her up a lot sometimes on this, on this program and other various live streams, you know, so why not? Why not? Why not have that drop ready at my disposal? So anyways, guys, so there's all the topics I really wanted to talk about. And, uh, I appreciate their Geeks Cosmics Entertainment. Like I said, you know, it's all good. Look at that. No, oh, look, look at that. Look at that moon and everything. So, uh, all right. So let's go to the tweets now. Let's look at your uh, Twitter questions. You know, if you want to hit me up. Um, yeah. So there it is. All right. Let's bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. 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 All right. Hello, Monday. All right, here we go. Mr. Darren, Mr. Uh, laugh now, cry later. He says, what's up, Dave? What's up, Darren? He's one of my uh, patrons, by the way. So thank you, Darren. You're awesome. Uh, hopefully I'll get to talk to you again on the uh, fan chat. Uh, if Zack Snyder's Justice League gets a second season, do you think it will be live action or would they do it in animation? Uh, that would depend on all the actors. I mean, I don't think, I think it would be live action. For sure. But the thing is, it's like you just you just never know sometimes when when it comes to um, when it comes to the logistics of everything, contracts, uh, schedules and everything. And then, of course, you got Warner Brothers Pictures who are still like, you know, hey, we got to make an Aquaman 2. We got Wonder Woman 84 and we want to do a Wonder Woman 3. Uh, who knows what's going on with Cavill's Superman? But it just seems like, you know, I mean, I think they would actually do a live action. I think they would because this is where it's all going. And the fact of the matter is, guys, I mean, what's more hyped? What's more hyped when it comes to what's coming out next year? I mean, obviously, the Batman was probably a little bit more hyped than Zack Snyder's Justice League. But now that's pushed to 2022. So now the biggest thing when it comes to DC is Zack Snyder's Justice League. Okay? I mean... That's that's what everybody's hyped about. I mean, who would want to be a part of that now? I mean, it, it, it has gone down in history as something that's never been done. The fact that we <laughs> that fans rally together, even with all the BS that happened, you know, within it, we rallied together and, and just made it happen. That's never been done before. You know, I mean, usually it's like, oh, yeah, we'll release a director's cut like fucking 12 years later. And just because why not? But no. We, you know, HBO Max said, hey, we heard you. Let's fucking do this. So I think that they would want to do it. Um, they'd want to do a live action. I think I was always kind of like hoping and thinking that, oh, maybe if they if they had like some prequel stories, you know, prequel spinoffs or spinoffs or something like that, they would have it uh, in the form of animation, you know, bring in a Jay Leva, do like a Green Lantern, do a Green Lantern, you know, prequel spinoff thing, you know. Ah, Mr. Russ Barnes, when do you think the Disney annual pass holders will start riding and marching on Sacramento? Uh, hashtag hate you 3000. Well, I hate you 4000. Uh, I know. Yeah. Russ Barnes, uh, he's a friend. He likes to go to Disneyland and he's not happy with the whole Disneyland thing. So, hey, whatever you want to do, man, just, uh, you know, just don't fuck up any businesses. Don't break windows. You know, just just throw a bunch of like stuffed uh Stuffed Plutos everywhere. Stuffed Goofies. Throw those at people. Do that instead, you know? Little, you know, just stuff Mickey Mouse. Guys, you know, just throw them at people. Show your uh, stuff right there. All right, I have to take a drink before I read Eric's tweet because it's always an essay question. So a few on the song debacle. The song debacle? Oh, okay. One, will it get cleared up so the trailer can remain as is? Yes. If not, what song off the top of your head would be the worthy replacement? Um, uh, War Pigs. Generals gathered in their masses, just like witches at black masses. There you go. Why not? I'm just saying, <laughs> but everybody puts war pigs in their shit now. It's a, that's kind of like a cliche song to use now. Um, so I don't know. Put a Metallica song in there. Put from whom the bell tolls. Uh, 
What song off the top of your head would you uh, really love for the next trailer? I don't know. Uh, you know, it'd be badass if, uh, and I would like, I'd fall in love with Snyder all over again. If you put like a Black Key song, like somewhere like in the next trailer, I don't think he will. I think he's going to put Junkie XL. I actually would prefer him to do that. Put Junkie XL's fucking, you know, put his score in the next trailer, please. But if they had to choose a song, do like a Black Key song or something like that. I don't know. That's what I would say. That's what I'd want. But I think he's going to use Junkie XL score, and I think he damn well should. Jumble Beats, what do you think is the next move for Shiraz? Do you think this will actually benefit his career? I think it will. You know, sometimes, sometimes you know, people are going to knock you down, and I think Shiraz is going to come out of this thing stronger than ever. Because look what Ray Fisher said. Ray Fisher said... You know, any more information that's coming out, it's going straight to Shiraz. And Shiraz, Shiraz has a lot of us to also help him out. Like anything Shiraz wants me to do with my platform, I'm going to do it. You know, he tells me what to do. I'm on it. Live stream, video, whatever. And like I said, he's always got a fucking, the door is always open for Shiraz. You know, when he wants to come on the vodka stream and talk, door is always open. I will always send him a link every Friday. I send him a link every Friday. He's always welcome. And, you know, like Colbert, same thing. Garza, same thing. That We will, whatever that guy needs, we'll fucking gladly fucking help him out, man. So I, I think he'll be fine. He'll, like I said, he'll be fine. He'll absolutely be fine. Uh, Eric again. So who put the bump in the bump, 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 bump? Who put the ram in the ram and am, dan, da ding dong, da ding dong? Okay. <laughs> Lane, hello, Dave, and cheers from Morocco. Well, cheers. Cheers from um, California. None DC related, but I've been meaning to ask, could you see a Zorro movie in the near future? I'm a big fan of Antonio Benderes' take, but still would love to have a fresh, more grounded Diego de la Vega. Yeah. Um, the first, yeah, the first Zorro, Mask of Zorro, was great. Anthony Hopkins. Antonio Banderas and ah, Catherine Zeta Jones. God damn it. So fucking gorgeous. Um, it was great. The sequel was, you know, it was, you know, subpar, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't bad. But uh, yeah, I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised if uh, another Zorro was in the mix. I thought I heard that there was going to be some kind of new Zorro movie that was coming out. And, you know, let Robert Rodriguez direct it. Fuck it. Let Robert Rod Rodriguez direct the next Zorro movie. Why not? That's just the first director that hit my brain. Uh, Dylan. So Dave, going to do a special election show tomorrow night. I vote you should dress as casual Batman and react to the results. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll, I'll be doing a show at the normal time. Yes, we'll be talking probably some election stuff because it's going to be way too hard to avoid. But, um, you know, me, though, I don't like to get too political on this thing because that's not what I am. I'm not the politics junkie. Okay. You know why they call it politics? Separate the word. Poly means many. Ticks means bloodsuckers. Many bloodsuckers. There you go. You learned something. Uh, fucking Robert Kelly. Holy shit. I know some people won't agree with me, but with but this uh, with this, but do you think Amber Heard nothing's going to happen? Even if Johnny Depp and Amanda, yeah, nothing's gonna happen. They're both. Know, they're just going to pay out of Johnny Depp will probably pay out of his ass or something. Do you see that? Yes, I did see that. And I'm very excited. to talk about that. And then we have, why are people freaking out about the Snyder cut trailer being removed? They are probably rebranding or got removed. Yeah, you are correct on the last part there, sir. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, a lot of, I, I figured it was maybe some kind of rebranding. I was hoping for it. Instead of being called the Snyder cut, it'd be just a uh, full on Zack Snyder's justice league. Uh, see, look at that. Rosemary and Jose, you guys got, mm, got a little thing going on right there. I see you. I see you. I see you. Um, is it too late to nominate casual Batman for president? No, I'm going to write him in the ballot <laughs> because he's a better pick than the two jokers we have as candidates. Very good, sir. What are you talking about? You don't like the, you don't like Trumpy? Huh? Come on. I'm going to keep America great. That's right. Going to keep it great. Or you have that old guy. The old guy that's just like, yeah, that's right. What's going on? I got Kamala Harris. Ah, ah, ah. Where am I? I don't even know where I am anymore. Ah, I need some insure. Ugh. 
Anyways, <laughs> that was the first time I tried to do a Biden impression. I don't even know if that was good. <clears throat> I don't think that was good. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Rosemary, did I did I trip you out right there? Ah, good stuff. They're uh, scoring the teaser trailer, probably. Anyways, all right, Dirt Dirt Wave Letter uh, Studios. Hey, Dave, huge fan of the channel. Keep up the good work. Thank you. My friend and I make films, and I would love um, uh, for you to watch them and leave some feedback. Maybe you have, maybe you could uh, show some of your old films you made. Yeah, I know. I should dig up some of the old short films that I've made. <laughs> They're out there somewhere. Some of them not, but I'll check it out, though, dude. Uh, I'll check it out. I'll even click this and uh, have the page open, so I'll check it out. Check it out. It was good. That was a good Biden. You know, it's funny because um, it's funny because in order to like do an impression of somebody, I have to see somebody else do it. So the fact that Jim Carrey's been doing it on SNL and it's been pretty funny, I was like, all right. I just have to like pretty much do an impression of Jim Carrey doing an impression. That's <laughs> it's pretty much how I like how I can do an impression. It's, that's how I uh, approach it if I had to do it. Mr. Andrew, when the Snyder Cut comes out and if it's successful, what projects will DC and Warner Brothers do coming out of it? Um, I don't know. Well, I guess we'll see. Hopefully a Superman, Superman series. That'd be sweet. Uh, best Jim Carrey movie? Um, uh, I would say probably when it comes to the comedies, The Mask, but my favorite Jim Carrey movie is Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. That movie, if you guys haven't seen Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, do yourself a favor, go watch it. It's a fucking trip. It's a trip. Uh, I see you, Nicotina. It's the haircut coming out on December 25th. All the Christmas trees. This guy. I see you. I see you, Nicotina. It's fine. <laughs> like I said, it, well, you know how Garza is. Garza just took a, a little bit of my, uh, a little bit of my, uh, you know, Easter egg, quippy little whatever the hell. And uh, he took it. He's, he thought I was uh, hinting that there was going to be a release on, on Christmas. And I was like, no, probably be an announcement. I'm hoping there's going to be an announcement. That's what it is. I think he left already, though. That guy. Uh, uh, congratulations for, uh, getting TCN by the way. Um, wonder what, uh, wonder what Momoa thinks about Amber now. I don't know. I'm sure he's fine. They probably got along very well on the set. That's the thing though. You can't, I mean, he can't take sides either. You know, he really can't take sides. Scott McClellan. Who wrote the book of love? I wonder who the book of love. There you go. I know what he's talking about. Uh, watch American Graffiti, George Lucas. If you want to watch a non-Star Wars George George Lucas film, watch American Graffiti. Do that. <clears throat> Carrie, who do you uh, trust to do more with Cavill Superman, Warner Brother or HBO Max? Personally, I think I'd prefer an HBO Max series. I'm actually with you there, which I think would be handled with better creativity. Zach can be involved, but they could try to bring Macquarie back to write, direct, some some of it now like i said i mean everybody wants macquarie but macquarie is busy he's shooting two mission impossible movies he's going to be busy for like the next two to three years well maybe two now because they're filming seven right now but i mean yeah probably about another yeah about two and a half years i would say so i would actually want somebody else but i like where he heads out with the hbo max series i actually would prefer a series probably over now than a movie i mean god yeah yeah, even though I love going to the movies. And we got Jacob showing some weird shit. Got to say, uh, he says, friendly reminder for streamer to uh, viewers to stay hydrated. Very true. Stay hydrated. You, know, you got a mouth cam right here, apparently. All right. Uh, Dylan. Hey, Dave, watch this video. Okay, I'll watch it later. <laughs> it's just... Hey, Rosemary, you finally you got a Twitter, Rosemary. Do you plan to film reviews uh, for some cult of some cult movies? Yeah. Uh, you know, I actually tried to do that once and uh, I'll probably do it again. You know, do some random film reviews. I got to do my review of the first episode of Mandalorian. I didn't get to it this weekend because too many things happen. 
Uh, Krypton Cage, do you think we'll get a new Zack Snyder's Justice League on November uh, trailer on the 17th? Maybe. Oh. Hopefully. Uh, one step too far equals one step too far. What's that for an exclusive? Uh, you know me. You just don't know it. Okay. Okay, one step. Didn't you have like a casual Batman trailer or something like that? Oh, yeah. Then there's this. I actually meant to bring this up, and thank you for reminding me, Mr. Funny. Um, here's this right here. Uh, we got we got Ray Fisher on a live stream. Like somewhere Watch. Somewhere listen to this. Like with the reshoots is what we did for the original, and it's hard to like mm -hmm. tell with certain shots of other people for scenes that I wasn't there for. But what I can tell you from, from my character and what you saw in the theatrical version, that every single scene, with the exception of the Gotham City police rooftop scene with Commissioner Gordon and Batman and Flash and all that. Every other, every single scene that I think that I'm in was reshot. Oh. I reshot the almost the entire film of my end. As far as other people's stuff, like where I wasn't there, I can't really tell you. So, so there you go. That was making the rounds today. Where yeah, I mean, we kind of all suspected that. I think we all kind of knew that that uh, all the scenes that Ray Fisher was a part of were reshot. You know, but of course that scene, you could tell, I mean, that wasn't reshot because I just, you just kind of wonder though. I just wonder, I think there was, I think flash was added to a part of it though. I don't know, maybe not, but there's always suspicion that when, when they look over and Victor is like over there and, you know, and then Barry kind of goes, ha, ah, ah, ha. I think there's a suspicion that that might've been added for comedy effect, for comedic element from Joss. Jeez. Oh, that doesn't exist anymore. Well, how about that? Okay. Oh, boy. We got a Garza. We got a Garza tweet. Did you laugh your ass off when David Ayer shut down the HBO Max release rumors? Because he never said not true to December. Oh, shut up, Garza. Uh, he tried He he tried. tried to. He tried to steal, like, an exclusive, and he really, and then, you see, this is this is how I do it. This is how I do it, guys. You know, when, when, when you're working with Garza, when Garza is, uh, part of the community, I got to be careful. I got to be careful what I say in front of him because he'll run with it. And, but the fact is though, but one of the things that I appreciate about Garza is he pays attention. He pays attention. And I did say we should ask Santa Claus. And I said it twice during two different film junkie lives and he caught it, but then he ran with it. But the thing is he overplays. <laughs> he always overplays. He overplays. And I was like, no, nah, I was hinting at a release. Uh, not a release, but uh, an announcement. So, just saying. Good old Garza. Is that Sam Benjamin? Holy shit! No. <laughs> no, that's pretty cool, though. But yeah, Boss Logic, he made that. So that'll be interesting. No, nah, it's Ryan Reynolds, right? No, that looks more Sam Benjamin. Ignacio! Ignacio! Oh. Yeah. Hi, Dave. Greetings from Chile. What's up, buddy? Do you know what happened behind the scenes of Rise of Skywalker? Can you talk about it? I don't really know too much. I don't really know too much about what happened with that. Um, I mean, it was supposed to be uh, Colin Trevorrow, and they switched it last minute, and they just they basically just brought in J.J. Abrams to try to clean up the backlash. that. Ha I mean, it was almost a similar situation. You know, there was backlash with the previous movie, so they bring somebody else to try to clean it up. But I mean, it wasn't, of course, not as nearly as drastic as Justice League. Oh yeah, there's this too. Uh, this is actually funny. Okay, uh, this is where this is where Film Gob really really shines. I watched this earlier, but yeah, Jeff Johns did a zoom, and he looks defeated. By the way, Jeff Johns, oh poor guy, he's not even wearing his ball cap. But listen to this. Because no matter how hard life gets or what gets thrown at us especially looking around today. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I'm just saying. <laughs> because no matter. Ah, see, that's where uh, that's. Uh, <laughs> uh, I love it when Gob does that, man. Uh, that's so fucking great. It's good stuff. What is us United? That's uh, the campaign that's happening. On uh, 17th, on the 17th. Remember, remember, it's the 17th of November. All right, since the election day is tomorrow, uh, who would you say is your favorite movie president? Mine is Bill Pullman, Independence Day. Yeah, 
I would probably have to agree with you on that. I mean, nothing beats that speech. We're going to live on. We're going to survive. Today, we celebrate our Independence Day. Yeah, I would have to agree with you, Evan. I, I would say Bill Pullman's probably, probably the best movie president. I'm trying to think of anybody else off the top of my head. Can't really, you know. Yeah, I think you're right. I would say I would agree with you with that one, sir. Uh, let's see. Uh, this has been this weekend. If you told me he was, uh, yeah, no. Look at that guy. I mean, that's, that's what happens. He's drinking that. What is he drinking? A diet Coke? Fucking Ben. You're drinking a diet Coke. Diet Coke's worse, man. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, he's looking slender, but he's got the fucking broad shoulders, man. And is it me or is he like sagging in his fucking jeans right there? Pull up your pants, Ben. You're not, you're not, you're not young anymore. But yeah, there's that guy right there. It's going to be interesting to see him in that back costume again. I like it. I like it. All right, guys. I think that's it with that. Cool. Thank you for the, uh, the Twitter questions and everything like that. And, uh, yeah, I mean, just basically just to round out today. I mean, a lot of things happened today. Um, one thing we gotta, one thing we gotta stop doing. And I know anybody who watches this is not not one of these people, but we, you know, when it comes to the fandom, we, uh, you know, we're we're pretty sensitive. A lot of sensitivity out there when it comes to the Snyder the Snyder fandom. I get it. I totally I totally get it because you know it's been it's been a fight, it's been almost a three year battle now. Well, not really. It's not really a battle anymore. That's the thing. There's not really a battle. Nothing's going to happen. We got to remember that. Nothing's going to happen. There's got to be something that's going to have to be super crazy for Zack Snyder's Justice League to not come out. Okay? Nothing's going to affect it. Okay? Not the, the Ray Fisher stuff. It's not going to happen. Trust me. I'm pretty sure that Ray Fisher consulted with Snyder about this whole thing before he started tweeting about Whedon and, and all the and Johns and everybody. He probably consulted with Snyder. He said, hey, should I start doing this thing? And Snyder probably said, you know what? You do you, man. Do it. It's not going to affect anything. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's hopefully just going to be its own thing. It's going to be its own separate thing. It's not going to affect anything that's happening over at HBO Max. What? Are you talking about? Are you talking to me, Jose? Are you talking to me? What? What, Jose? I see you're raising your hand. Um, but yeah. We just can't be, you know, don't the knee jerk reactions, you know, we got to just kind of relax and we got to be patient. Okay. That's all. Just got to remember to, uh, to be okay. And, uh, when it comes to uh, a lot of things, it's just, it's all about being patient. You know, like I've talked about yesterday, I'm so tired of the scooping game. It's gotten to the point where it's just, it's just gross now and it's predictable, absolutely predictable. I mean, I literally predicted, the 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 air cut scoop that came out yesterday. I knew I knew it was got you already you forgot you're smoking too much weed, bruh. Smoking too much of that fucking weed, bruh. But um yeah, like it's when it comes to the scooping game, you know, if you wanna if you wanna like trust these scoops, fine. You know, I, I hate the fact that people are taking sides when it comes to all of it. This is what I expressed yesterday. I'm tired of the fact that now that we have all of a sudden we have all these scoopers that are coming in. And people are like siding with them and then taking sides and it's getting tribalistic. And, you know, and like I said, essentially scooping is just spoiling. It's really just, you know, it's a lot of spoiling that's happening. And, uh, you know, these when it comes to the filmmakers and the people involved in these movies, they hate scoopers. They fucking hate them. That's why I'm like, why would you want to be a scooper <laughs> when these people kind of like hate that shit? But at the same time, it is kind of cool that, you know, you know, like, hey, when you figure out, when you find out things that are coming out and everything, and you know, I, I do have my sources. That's why I check things and I go, well, what's happening with Ben Affleck's Batman? Ooh, that that no, he, it might be happening soon. Up, up, boo. It's kind of nice, but you know, it's just it's just a lot of things. Uh, yeah, one of these. Yeah, don't worry, Film Gob and I will talk. I think, but see, that's a problem. That's part of it too. Is like he doesn't like he doesn't like a lot of the people that I associate with. And I don't like the people that he associates with. That's where, that's where there's kind of a divide when it comes to Gab and I, um, I think the last time I had him on, it was on a, a vodka stream and I got, I was really hammered and I was like rambling. I felt kind of like, damn, that was kind of shitty. 
Um, I, I wish it was a better uh, vodka stream, but uh, one of these days we'll get him on here again, or maybe I'll get him on Sunday morning or something like that, and we'll talk, see where he's at and stuff. But uh, one thing about Gob, though, he does – he uh, he's recently become very fond of – so that's that's that was that was interesting because I, I didn't think he liked her for a bit there. But anyways, guys. Yeah. But like I said, be patient. And, you know, when it comes to everything that's happened, it's all good. And when it comes to Shiraz, he'll be OK. You know, and like I said, I'll, I'll back that guy up if he needs me to. Whatever he needs me to do, I, I, I will gladly do it. And he'll be he'll be fine. It's not he's not his career's not ruined. He, he's still going to flourish, you know, no one's going to stop him. He's a, he's an unstoppable force and everything like that. So, and uh, yeah, like I said, we'll just be patient. More stuff's coming. It's going to be very, pretty exciting. Even though the film industry is like in shambles right now, you know, it's, you know, we still have entertainment. We still have streaming service stuff that's happening. And a lot of content is going to be showing up on that stuff. So it's all going to be good. It's all going to be good. Did uh, oh, now you ask a question? Well, now I'm gonna ignore it. Now I'm gonna ignore it there, Jose. Jace. Just yeah, you know, Jace. You talk to Rosemary or something like that. Anyways, guys. All right. Make sure you uh subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm doing this stuff. And uh, follow me on the sock meds right down there, Twitter, Instagram. It's also Facebook. If you want to do that too, but I don't really, I'm not really super active on the uh the Facebook part of it. And uh make sure you um um, make sure you hit the, um, yeah, like I already said, the like thumbs up button, but make sure you, uh, check out the, uh, Teespring, the, uh, the film junkie closet and the Patreon. If you want to become a part of the Patreon, do so. Hey, look at that. Gronkowski actually got a touchdown. Look at that. Gronk actually got a touchdown. So there you go. It's a good way to hit it right now. Anyways, guys, remember. And also I'm excited to watch the Snyder cut because Joss Whedon sucks. All right, guys, I will talk to you later.